everybody, Adam Phillips here for Dynamite Entertainment, and I'm here today with Fred Van Lenty to talk about his series, Jennifer Blood, and uh, we're coming up on issue number five, which is the end of the first story arc. So, Fred, if you, you could bring us up to speed, tell us what to expect a little bit. Sure. So, uh, the series has involved the apparent resurrection of Jennifer Blood who died at the end of her original series. And she has appeared in this town called Bountiful in Utah, which if you've ever seen the end of Goodfellas, is sort of like that town Ray Liotta shows up in with the cul-de-sac and the lawns and where, you know, pasta is macaroni and ketchup. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but this is a town full of mobsters. It's all, it's all uh, crooks who have gotten cushy deals in a, in exchange for ratting people out to the feds and uh, are, have all been relocated to this town, which is pretty much run by criminals. So if the original Jennifer Blood series was about a suburban woman going out and killing mobsters, this is about a suburb that is nothing but mobsters. And Jennifer Blood shows up and starts murdering people. Bad guys, only bad guys. She only kills bad guys. She would like to be <laughs> uh, And uh, the mobsters respond by hiring their, uh, this notorious uh european camorra mafia assassin julietta romeo and she becomes the new sheriff and so she spent the entire series trying to figure out uh who amongst the bountiful townspeople is jennifer blood because she's managed to sort of uh embed herself in the populace in a way and, and no one's been able to figure out who she is and she's just whacking these mob guys with in spectacular giallo-esque fashion mm -hmm. um but then in the fourth issue uh, Julietta believes she has uncovered the mystery. I don't want to get too spoilery for people who are watching this and, and might want to check out the series from the start. Uh, so the, in the fifth issue, uh, we find out whether or not Julietta is right. Whether that, uh, what that answer is, regardless, I can tell you that it involves a massive bloodbath. No uh, way. I know, shocking. In a Jennifer Blood Lady Punisher comic, there were few characters you were attached to. Uh, exiting, <laughs> right. shuffling off this mortal coil. Oh man, yeah. All right, well, that sounds exciting, and that's uh, art by Vincenzo Federici, I believe. Yeah, he's done an absolutely fantastic job, uh, and he's he's even gotten uh, he's been uh, Julietta Romero Romeo, as her name may imply, is Italian, as is uh, Vincenzo, and Vincenzo has been helping me with my Italian swearing which is something that Juliet is very good at. Nice. Uh, and particularly because uh, Vincenzo is from, so like if you're from Sicily, you're from uh, Rome, you're from Naples, you're from Florence or whatever, various parts of Italy, you have completely different swear words and they're very particular about them. Uh -huh. And I, I'm very lucky to be working with Vincenzo because he, like Juliet Romeo, is from Naples. Mm. So oh, this great. is straight up, from the horse's mouth, legit Neapolitan slang coming out of Julietta's mouth because Vincenzo has not hesitated at my request, I should add, to correct me um, when the crappy phrase book I got steered me the wrong way as to what the correct <laughs> were, were in any given situation. Cool. So, uh, and then where, just briefly, where do we go from here since, um, well, <laughs> Well, some of the characters clearly survive. Yes, <laughs> let's hope. The sixth issue. Uh, let's just say that Jennifer A. So, to be clear, there's no actual human being born of man and woman named Jennifer Blood. That is a right. persona adopted by uh, a woman, a, a sort of mafia princess turned vigilante named Jessica Blute. Yeah. Let's just say a Jessica or a Jennifer Blood, excuse me, a Jennifer Blood survives to the sixth issue. Ah. Uh, and as a result of um, the wounds she received in the aforementioned bloodbath in number five, she winds up in a uh, illegal clinic for criminals mm. uh, and meets up with a, a hitman who's terminally ill. And he's got a, a bucket list of criminals he'd like to rub out. <laughs> um, before his time goes and and 
Will Jennifer Blood team up with a mob assassin? Question mark. I, yeah. All of that is answered in the new arc, which is called Blood Debt. Nice. This current five ends the, the story called Bloodlines, then Blood Debt starts the following one. Very cool. All right. Appreciate it, Fred. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Jennifer Blood is in stores now. Stop by your local comic shop and pick up the latest issue, pick up the back issues, and make sure to reserve the upcoming issues so you don't miss a moment of the action.